Well, there's Darth Maul right there. But look at her eyes. Is she incredible? Sometimes with baby tortoises, you get what's called hatchling failure syndrome. Here's the thing you gotta look for with baby tortoises of all species. We don't know why this happens. This animal could potentially be developmentally challenged. What's up guys, how you all doing? I'm just looking for some eggs and I've got a little baby cherry head tortoise here that I wanted to kind of talk about because today is an Ask Camp Kenan question and uh, Tom's here operating the GoPro. Say hello everyone. What's up everyone? There you go, all right. Thank you to our amazing supporters who help to make this show possible every week. Your support makes a real difference in our efforts here at Camp Kenan. This week's special shout out goes to Justin Muser, Thank you for all you do and for loving reptiles. I love my cherry heads. They're some of my favorite tortoises. They just do so well out here. They're personable. There's Darth Maul right there. And uh, this isn't one of her babies, but you could just see it's such a beautiful little tortoise. Uh, really love these guys, but look at her eyes. Is she incredible? And she's so inquisitive, always wants to see what's going on. I really love these guys. So today we got a question. Uh, Tom, you're gonna have to help me because I forgot the gentleman's name who asked the question. Yeah, so I, it was from Adam Slane. Very cool. Oh, Adam Slane, he was on our live, our Patreon live not long ago. Okay, very cool. I remember the question, I think. Uh, he was asking, he recently had gotten uh, from our friend Sam Piscucci some redfoot tortoise babies, and I didn't have any redfoot tortoise babies to talk about, but I did have this little guy. So they're basically redfoot tortoises, cherry heads. And he was asking whether or not it's smart to keep the animals outside uh, when they're kind of newly hatched, or should he raise them up inside? He's got a Zoomed tortoise enclosure. Um, so I'm gonna give you my uh, advice. And, uh, and he got them from Sam. Yeah, he did, I just After mentioned After watching you. Oh, did he? He, well, that was the thing. He said, you know, I just stumbled across your channel. Okay. And I he, I guess he binge watched like all the Cam Kennans. Thank you. And he saw a bunch of stuff with Sam and realized Sam lived right down the road from him. Oh my gosh, that's so awesome. So it's so cool that I brought some good people together because Sam is one of my favorite guys and he knows a great deal about tortoises. He's been doing it for many, many years. Uh, not only just the husbandry, which is what I do, but also about tortoise medicine, which is part of the husbandry. Um, so anyhow, here's what I would say, uh, what we're gonna talk about. Um, basically, little guys like this, what I do is I have my incubator indoors, and what I like to do is I really like to kind of incubate the animals inside, and this way I can control the environment. I can really kind of perfect the parameters for getting these animals to hatch. Now, that being said, I have found baby cherry heads and baby redfoots that have incubated right here in the enclosures. Uh, not long ago, a couple years ago, I was actually doing what I'm doing now. I'm actually looking for eggs. And while poking around, I found a nest that was just hatching. It was really, really cool to see little baby tortoises that have not dug out of the nest, but they were in the nest. So what I did was I grabbed them up and I brought them inside. Now, most of the time, my animals hatch right in the incubator. And you guys may have seen some of those videos. And what I like to do is I pull the animal out and create a little bit of a nursery in the incubator while they're absorbing their yolk sac. After that, I transfer them into a ZooMed tortoise enclosure, uh, and that's the tortoise nursery. I keep them in there for a few months. Now, here's the thing about baby tortoises and putting them outside. If you do not have a completely concealed and protected environment for them to live in, meaning that no predators can get in, uh, then I wouldn't recommend putting them outside. If you can create something where they can be put outside, I do think it's advantageous to let them spend a portion of the day outside because they're gonna get just the natural sunlight, which is so key for getting these guys a strong shell. Uh, the other thing that you wanna do if you keep them inside uh, to help that shell grow is to make sure that you have a really high quality uh, Vitalite, reptile UVB emitting bulb. Very, very important 
for us to, to make sure we're doing that for our animals. And coming up on the channel, I'm definitely going to be doing more on UVB because it's so important. And uh, we've got a really cool partnership that we're going to be able to help you guys out with some product and uh, some knowledge about how to keep these animals. So I'm really excited for that. That's coming up in just about a month or two. So anyway, back to what I'm talking about here as I kind of talk and look for a nest. And what I'm doing here with this little device that I have, it's just a little poker. And I gently tap the ground. And if it sinks real deep, real fast, then I know I've hit an egg chamber. Now, I also know that the tortoises like to kind of lay around the fence. This is an old nest right there. That was already dug up by me. Um, so what I'll do is I just gently tap. And if it sinks, you might find that it is actually a nest cavity. Uh, Tom. Yes. Sometimes I, I get a little ADD and I wander on. What were we talking about? Oh, yeah. The we're hatchlings. talking. Hatchlings, yeah. <laughs> so, so your question, Adam, and for everyone else out there that's interested about hatchling tortoises, is if you can provide them with a secure area where they're not going to get eaten by anything, no ants or any insects or things like that that can potentially harm them. Like we have fire ants here in the south, and um, you know you wouldn't want that to happen to you. If you can provide them with a good place that that is secure and within the parameters and temperatures that these animals need, raising them outdoors is cool in a controlled uh, enclosure. Otherwise, for, for me, I do like to keep them in for a couple of weeks just to get them eating. And then once they're eating and I know they're moving around properly, this way I know that when I put them in an outdoor enclosure, they're smart enough to kind of make sure that they can easily get out of the sun. Remember, you're going to have to create an area to get out of the sun. You're going to need uh, humid areas as well. So uh, you got to make sure that you, you really create a cool environment for these little guys. Now, this little guy was kind of a smaller one, so I wanted to kind of see how he would do. Um, sometimes with baby tortoises, you get what's called hatchling failure syndrome. Uh, so I like to hold on to him for a little bit. Now, here's the thing you got to look for with baby tortoises of all species. Sometimes, and I, we don't know why this happens, um, but the tortoises will just expire. Now, I've got my own theories. This is an anecdotal uh, idea of mine. In other words, I have not put this through the scientific method. It's basically just from my observations. And what I notice is sometimes when tortoises have a sunken concave, uh, this is not because they're sexually dimorphic. This is like a sunken plastron right out of the uh, incubation media or right out of the egg. You can see also this animal's been out of the egg for about two weeks, but it still hasn't closed up completely yet. The yolk umbilicus here where the yolk sac was. That leads me to believe this animal could potentially be developmentally challenged. There may be some internal problems with this animal. I'm not 100% sure. So I'm not offering this animal up for sale. I'm going to hold it back and see if I can continue to keep it, keep an eye on it. And to do that more thoroughly, I'm keeping the animal inside because I know this animal isn't moving around a lot. It isn't behaving uh, as a three-week-old tortoise should be, kind of exploring its habitat, walking around. So this animal doesn't get to go outside. I have to make sure that I'm up on it because if it just sits in one spot, it'll bake in the heat. I want to try and give this little guy a chance, um, but I'm not sure it's going to make it. There's not a lot you can do for baby tortoises. So many people um, you know, worry about their baby tortoises and even taking them to the vet may prove futile because because they're so small, it's very difficult to figure out the right dosages uh, as far as, um, what's this? Is this something? It's really difficult to find out the right dosages for the medicine and so on. But I'm just showing you guys this little one here because I wanted you guys to have a reference uh, for a baby tortoise as, as opposed to a grown-up tortoise. And then I also wanted to show you what to look for if you hatch out an animal. Uh, you want to look for, you know, the fact that the animal's developing right. So this guy, to me, doesn't look so hot, so I'm going to keep him uh, inside. But uh, I'm not seeing any eggs here, Tom. Okay. Although, wait a minute. This looked a little disturbed. I'm going to get dirty here. Let's see. Right, so. I'm going to put this little guy down. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. This is really nice, rich dirt, though. Not that that matters for the eggs, but probably a good place to find some... Uh, earthworms for some of the animals yeah this may have been an old nest that i had previously dug up we've had a lot of look at that oh i love earthworms you know you love earthworms turtle people that is good food for the little guys all right well not there 
Let me just see. I'm not feeling anything. You got to be careful with this method because it is easy to crack an egg. But the way I look at it is better to get four eggs out and crack one so you get you know the animals are there you know the babies are in the nest or the eggs are in the nest and you can pull them out and really control how we go about incubating them i'm not finding anything here though i think i think we're all tapped out on eggs man i don't know still got a chance over here anyway adam i really do appreciate your help and support and thanks for being a patreon supporter and I hope this uh, little video has helped out some of you guys. So it's bottom line, like what size? Oh, what'd you bo say? oh, bottom line to put them out. Oh yeah, good question. Tom's here keeping me honest, people. <laughs> uh, you know, bottom line is if you can get them out, you can, in a controlled environment. If you aren't, if you're not able to provide them with a screened-in enclosure, what I would say, um, depending on where you live, you know, you may have raccoons, fox, coyote, all kinds of animals that can prey on tortoises. I like to get them at least as big as this guy right here. Okay, so you can kind of get an idea. Uh, that's that's about three, four years old right there, that tortoise. And uh, man, I, I would say at least that big. Now, I have an electric fence around my whole property. I also don't really have a lot of coyote activity here, although there have been reports of some. Mostly I get um, raccoons. Now, this shell, you can see this tortoise shell, it's pretty well developed. If he can pull his little hand, uh, little feet in, they're pretty darn strong. So he's pretty well protected. Uh, that being said, if a raccoon got this little guy's leg, they would eat off a leg. Now this guy, they just split right open and eat him right up. So uh, I would at least get to that big before I started putting him out without any kind of cover. So there you go. I think I've answered the question now. Yeah, you, have. you got I it. Have. I did it. All right, everybody, there you go. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for all our Patreon supporters. If you guys want to help us out on Patreon, just check us out on Patreon at patreon.com slash Camp Kennan. Uh, leave a comment below. Share your experiences. What are you doing with your tortoises? We can all learn from each other. And I thank you for watching the video. We're going to enjoy the rest of this beautiful day with these beautiful animals. And we're going to get this guy back in. Give him a good soak. See ya.